Design a Cosmetic Contest is back with not only one or two, but three winners in every single category this year. With this returns our annual video of taking a look at some of the amazing creations that you guys have put together and showcasing some of the awesome work. Be sure to check out all of the creators of these cosmetics down below and submit your own cosmetic before time runs out. There's a bunch of rules and regulations, which I'll leave all the info to in the description below. And with that being said, let's jump on into it. Starting off strong, we have a fantastic unknown skin by Ali Zetha. I really, really like Plague Doctor skins. My, my entire name is King, so I like the medieval kind of stuff. So a Plague Doctor is right up my alley and this looks amazing this is a concept for the unknown look at the weapon i loved curved weapons as well this cosmetic just speaks to me i really really love it you have the little lantern i love the little attention to details and the top hat what i love about this is that the top hat has no blood whatsoever but everything else is raggedy and torn but the hat piece always stays in tip top shape i really am a fan of this one this looks really really cool it would be awesome if there's like a little flicker of light, like this cosmetic word to win, the lantern that's there, if it slightly flickers on and off since it's broken, that would be really, really cool if they decide to do something like that. I really like this concept. I love that the back also has details with little vials and a little pouch as well. A fantastic concept. I love it. The amputation knife, it really is a seller for me on this one as well. I just love the curved sword. Next up, we have a concept by Jake Judge. I think we've reviewed some of Jake's stuff in the past. And again, coming with a strong concept, we got the Blood Bouncer. This is a cosmetic for Jeff Johansson. And it kind of fits the theme of everything that we currently going uh, have going on in DVD. We have wings that are dangling on the back, which is really nice, making the cosmetic really dynamic. In the back, you actually have the bat symbol that's shaved into Jeff's haircut, which is really nice. I love that there's red in his hair as well. You can see a nice gradient going on in the hair, and the cosmetic itself is really, really cool. I, I like the leather gothic aesthetic that they're going for here. They even mentioned that in the bottom. I like this aesthetic. It's really, really nice, and it fits exactly what we have have going on with DVD right now. A lovely, lovely, lovely cosmetic submission. The color scheme is really good as well. I love the three colors that are going on here, the black, the red, and the blue. We even have hints of like off-white as well. It all ties in together and it looks really, really good. Even the small details like down to the gloves and even the nail color, it all works out in the same color scheme. It really does fit the name of the Blood Bouncer. I'm a fan of this one. Take a look at this one. We have a fantastic dredge submission from Uro. Hopefully I'm not butchering anyone's names here. This is super cool. It works out if it comes right around Halloween as well. It just fits in DVD. I love that the dredge is in the game because it, it gives artists so much to work with when it comes down to these concepts. You have cute little ghosts going around, nice little lantern in one hand, and in the other hand, you just have some deadly scissors ready to tear you apart. Not to mention the entire thing can be interchanged with a scythe as well. I like that there's versatility with this cosmetic, and you can even see what the cosmetic looks like when you're moving forward. There's two ghosts, and when you're moving forward, one leans forward, is one is right behind waiting. You can see what the lantern looks like and what the nice long scythe looks like as well that's really really awesome and reading here as well we're sticking with that theme all these artists with the attention to detail they said that the lantern turns on and off at nightfall that's amazing i would love to see something like that again a wonderful submission next on the list Probably one of my favorite submissions in all of this is a amazing Hattie skin done by Gloss. This is amazing. Again, attention to detail is top notch. We're sticking with a beautiful pink reddish theme, almost a burgundy as well as black. This looks amazing and the attention to detail is everywhere. Let's start off with the hair. Absolutely amazing. I love the gradient that's going on here. I love the green eyes going. I love all of the different piercings that are here as well. We have a little butterfly headband that fits so elegantly. We head over to the design itself as they've highlighted on the left. It's a nice uh, butterfly design as well, which matches the headpiece. Then again, those piercings that I mentioned, there's a ton of them. There's some on the nose, there's some on the ears, there's some on the belly button, uh, and the metal is kind of charismatic. 
It's really nice. I'm a fan of that one as well. Going to the sleeves, we also have the same butterfly as well. And if we move down a little and we take a look, the boots, again, sticking with that theme with the colors. And what's super cool about this is that there's actually a knife that's holstered on the leg. It's really, really cool. Overall, this cosmetic is amazing. There's so much attention to details with this one. As soon as I seen this one, I was like, whoa, this is cool. I'm a big fan of this. A great, great, great job done by Gloss. Next on the list, we have the Office Siren coming on in by Tired and Toasty. Another unknown cosmetic. And it's really cool just to see the versatility of all the artists. We have, we've seen an earlier unknown and now we have another one. And I like this one as well. A paper cutter weapon as well. It kind of terrifies me. Every time I've ever used a paper cutter, it just seems so unnecessarily sharp. I get it. I know that makes no sense. But there's something about a paper cutter that... I'm a little bit fearful of, so this is really cool. I, I think this fits perfectly for a killer, especially someone that has worked in an office. We can see a lot of pearls on the neck, some earrings as well with some pearls, that menacing, creepy smile from the unknown that the unknown always has. We can see uh, what looks like twigs maybe growing or passing through the head of this victim, so maybe that's how they were murdered. <laughs> we're continuing with that business look. Obviously, this person worked in the office. They have high heels as well. They have specified in the quote here that in the lore, it says that you can still hear the heels click clacking. That would be really cool if DVD decided to do that as a sound design choice. That would be pretty menacing. I would love to see something like that coming into the game. Overall, great cosmetic. I love the satchel, love the paper cutter, love the elegance of this, the business approach works for me. Lavender Clouds comes on in with a Sable Ward cosmetic. Off the bat, amazing. I love the gradient that everyone keeps putting in all these characters' hairs. It just looks so good. Very gothic, looks really nice. We have a lot of bone kind of accessories, which I'm a big fan of. It makes sense. I feel like it's on par for Sable and something Sable would do. We have some what looks like sharp teeth or maybe bones in the choker that Sable's wearing. We have it as a crown on her hair as well. And then when you take a look at her very long skirt, we have that as well, which is really nice. I love her high heels as well, or more like platformers, I should say. Again, there's even some skulls over there. This is really, really good. And it makes sense because the name of this cosmetic is the Witch of Chain and Bones. This is a super cool one. Honestly, I, I like the very tiny, subtle red or almost burgundy details that we have going on. You can see bow, for example, the choker color itself. I, I don't know. Something about that color just really speaks to me. I, I'm a big fan of it. And it's done in a way where it's not like overpowering, essentially, where there's a lot of it. It's just slightly here and there, and it really draws the cosmetic all together as well. Big fan of this one. I love it. Again, another amazing concept. Next, we have a awesome cosmetic by Sove Sleep. And this is the singularity as a cat. <laughs> this is really, really awesome. First of all, this is just amazing as is. Just looking at it as a whole, I love it. Who doesn't like cats? A cat cosmetic would be super unique. And just the attention to detail. There's a lot of nice little cute things here. We get the little tiny ears coming out. We have the cat face on the screen for the singularity. On the back, we have three different cup holders for boba which is great there's a little sticker that even says hello my name is larry and it has like the cat smiley face again great attention to detail here the weapon itself is a broken blender weapon we have the alien slime as the core of the body and then even at the bottom we have tiny little toe beans this is great. I really am happy with this. And it says, instead of voice lines, it just meow. <laughs> that, that's amazing. I, I, again, the details to this is really cool. Imagine you just running from the killer and it's just meow, meow. I loved it. I'm, I'm a fan of this one as well. Again, oh, it's just it's so much good cosmetics. I'm so happy that DBD has decided to pick more than one winner because there's just so many amazing com, uh, concepts and cosmetics that... I'm just a big fan of them all. Moving on forward, we have a very cozy looking skin for Hattie here. This is done by Ghostaholic. This is nice. It's really cozy. It's really comfortable. We got some bats as the slippers. We have a bat uh, little pouch as well, which is really nice. Some gold accessories, which I'm a big fan of. He love gold accessories. One of her hands, her right hand's actually nice and wrapped up as well. Hairstyles on point. This is a really, really cool cosmetic. I like these comfortable cosmetics. It, it's just nice. It's comforting. It's really, really cool. I'm a big fan of it. And hopefully something like this ends up winning because this is really, really nice. Take a look at this 
concept. This is done by Phoenix. Oh my god. I don't even know where to start. A praying mantis as a skin. Again, we're seeing a completely different singularity kind of skin. That's what I mean. The versatility that everyone has with these characters is really phenomenal. And it, it, it speaks to the talent that everyone has. Just look at that. A, a, a full on praying mantis skin. Basically like an overgrown kind of skin over the robot itself. It's amazing. Little details with some mushrooms growing out of the head and the weapon itself is like the praying mantis claw. It fits as well. This looks amazing. I'm a big fan of it and a lot of people are too. This has been really blowing up all over Twitter. Job well done. Fantastic concept. Gloomy is coming in with the Blood Moon Knight. Again, there's a lot of Blood Moon themes going on here. I think the first one of the first cosmetics we looked at had a similar theme. And we have a very dark knight going. Again, sticking with that black and red theme. I'm a big fan of the black and red theme. As you can see, a lot of these concepts have these, and I, I keep being amazed by them. We have a very, very nice cape, very elegant. Love the gradient that's going on there as well. The moon design on the sword is pretty cool. You have every single moon phase on the sword. What's cool is that it still has the long hair of the knight itself. It'll be really cool too if the hood just only shows the eyes for the knight. I like this cosmetic. It's really, really cool. Great job done by Gloomy. There's another one, another cozy cosmetic. This is a cosmetic for Jake, as you guys can see. Nice and comfortable, nice and cozy. He looks like he's ready to go out for a nice mountain jog or run. Only well, he probably needs to tie his shoelaces if he's gonna do that. But this one's nice. This one's done by Jack. Amazing concept. I love the color scheme that's going on too. It's a very earthy kind of design. We got the green and the brown, so it works out quite nice. He looks comfortable. He looks relaxed. He has some nice necklaces, layered hair, as they've pointed out. Shoelaces untied. Not the best for running against killer. Imagine if he tied him up and ran it from the killers he would be unstoppable i like the fingerless gloves that we have going on as well again another satchel we've seen a lot of these there's also a little band-aid on the face as well a cool concept very cozy very very welcoming i like this one for jake here we have an artist skin and this one is done by tendy this is really really cool the feathers turning out to be a skirt looks amazing we have almost it's not a doily but it kind of looks like a doily which i like it, it fits a very uh well put together business elegant team a gothic but kind of preppy looking cosmetic it's really cool the weapon is amazing i love the design that we have on the weapon and it is fantastic we have some bone necklaces as well and we can see the claws on the other hand which is really really nice i just realized the weapon itself is a pen wow it makes sense it fits because of the ink uh and the artist makes sense for the eyes we actually have what looks like wings covering the the face itself the design is just amazing i like the blue and black it works super well it's a very very nice well put together cosmetic job well done by tendy Gravehound is coming on in with a Death Slinger cosmetic, showing some love to the good old Death Slinger. Uh, this one is called Blind Justice because if you take a look at the cosmetic, he is actually blind with this one. Uh, and I believe his face has a covering and you can see some blood coming out of it as well. This is pretty cool. I like the gold and black. All these color schemes today have just been super nice. I feel like a broken record giving out these compliments, but it's true. Gold and black, my favorite combination ever. This is very, very fantastic. He also has a little cape that like it's a, like a pelt of some sort, which is really nice. Um, you can see a bunch of things in his satchel. I believe those are airs, maybe? Or maybe just an organ part. I'm not entirely too sure. The weapon camo that we have for the weapon as well matches with his outfit, so it's really nice. It's very clean and pristine. And you can see on the left, he actually has a bone that is tied to his foot as well. Next, we have the Cyber Space ripper this is by soda chip and i love the callback to the oni this is the digital terror mask we have another oni mask and i like it i, I really like it because it, it kind of reflects with the oni and there's some similarities there but then it's its own thing the red and the blue very contrasting so it really pops uh we have very nice looking leather jacket the arm itself is almost like a robotic arm which makes this cosmetic a lot more futuristic you, you can also see that on the mask as well we have the code cutter as the weapon it'll be nice again if in the game this has like subtle glow to it it'll be really really cool uh and there's a lot of futuristic things going on you can see on the belt itself there's a tracker of some sorts in the back 
looks also like a tracker. Maybe the front is not a tracker. It's something else. We have a robotic arm on the belt pouch as well. It's very futuristic looking. I like it. Cyberspace really fits the name for this cosmetic because it is really, really futuristic looking. And I like it. I, I think it's really cool. And I would love to see something like this winning. I love that the horns stick out as well over hood. It adds some more character to this concept and job well done. Let's not forget that you can also submit some badges and some banners. This one is done by Anxious Zombie. Really, really cute. You can see the entity basically in a snow globe. And on this globe in the bottom, you can see the Mori. You can see some stars. You can see some crescent moons. Looks really, really nice. I'm a big fan of it with the purple and the black. The contrast very well. And I'd rock that badge if it was in the game. Finally, to wrap it up, we have a banner. This one is done by Quibbler. And this is really, really adorable. This is cute. We have Kate with a cowgirl hat riding Maurice throughout the clown's realm and a bunch of clown bottles everywhere. This is super dope. This is super cool. I really, really like it. It, it, it just has so much of what DVD entails. You know? What a lovely, lovely, lovely banner. It's one of the best banners that I've seen done thus far, and I would love to see something like this coming into the game. There's even a quote that goes on with it. A dangerous rodeo on a monstrous horse among clouds of toxic smoke. Take care of yourself, you cool country girl. I like it. So we've taken a look at some amazing concepts. Remember, you guys still have time to submit your own concepts as well. There's going to be three winners on every single category, so you have a really good chance to have your artwork featured into the game. Submissions are open until the 19th of August, so make sure you're getting them in. There's also some more rules and regulations, which I'll leave down below, along with all of the creators of all these amazing artworks. Make sure you go and check them out and show them some love. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy our annual viewing of all of the lovely cosmetics that I could find. That's going to do it for me. As always, I'm the king. I did my crown to you guys, and we'll see you in the fog.